message as our menu options have changed. Thank you. Fire Police Dispatcher Massey. Yeah, I'm calling about this disturbing noise. I'm uh, wondering what it's going to take for you people to actually uh, do something about it. I've been complaining about it for 33 months, and I can't even get people to pay attention at this point. So, uh, Sir, uh, Sergeant Patton wants to speak with you. Are you there? Yeah, I'm waiting. You can put him on the phone. Okay, just a second. <laughs> Uh, sir, Mr. Uh, Patton is on the phone. Yeah, hello. Hey, Brent. How, how you doing, man? Hey, you know. You there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry about that. No, uh. Rough night? Say what? Said you having a rough night? No, not any more than, than normal. I mean, I don't know what that has anything to do with uh, the fact that apparently none of y'all know how to do your jobs according to the codes and statutes. Brandon, listen, um, we're extremely busy tonight. Uh, uh, the girls have the phones ringing off the hook. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we're, we're taking your complaints and we're documenting them. So you guys are too busy. We, the, the, the girls don't have time to sit and talk on the phone with you tonight. Yeah, I don't have time to do it either. I'd rather be enjoying my property, but I can't do that because you guys have failed to do your job for the last 33 months, roughly. And now the excuse yeah. is you're too busy? Yeah, we're busy. Yeah, we, we have we have uh, uh, priority calls happening, Brandon. Oh, so what were the excuses all the other thirty three months that uh, that you guys have failed to, to do anything about this? You just waiting for I, new I excuses? We, 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 I I don't think we've uh, failed to do anything, Brandon. You you yourself have failed to do do your job. You told me yourself that you failed because you uh, supposedly investigated it. You went to the stave company, sat in their parking lot, but didn't bother doing a report, didn't bother following through. None of that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I got the recorded conversation on my YouTube channel. You might want to listen to what you had to say, if you don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I sat there. Yeah, you can hear noise, Brandon, but that's in the parking lot, bud. Okay, so what about my property? Are you failing to understand that when that noise comes all the way from their property to my property... When their noise encroaches my property, it's called trespassing. That's a crime. Is it? Yeah. It's physically trespassing on your property? It's called a trespass. Uh, uh, look, the fact that you're, you're making a statement like that tells me that either you're ignorant or you just want to pick a fight. I'm ignorant now, Brandon? Well, you, you ob obviously don't understand the, the, the definition of the word trespass. Explain it to me. No, I don't need to explain it to you. You, you need to talk to your boss. And if you can't figure it out for yourself, then you should be fired. Wait. If you're that incompetent, you can't figure out a definition of a word. Then maybe I'm, you shouldn't be doing the job. Brandon? Maybe you shouldn't be getting paid to do the job. Because you obviously you can't even figure out a definition of a word. How can you do your other duties and obligations? Have, have I uh, disrespected you in any way, Brandon? Have yeah. I called you any names? It doesn't make a I difference. Have? It doesn't? No. And just for the record, I'm just so identifying the problems. I'm not, I'm not calling you names. I'm identifying your failures. I'm identifying your shortcomings. You just called me incompetent, Brandon. That's explaining, no, that's explaining the fact that you're, you're a failure. You can't now perform. Me a failure. You can't perform. See, you, you, you just. You, you have to remove your sensitive little feelings. Oh, and, and, buddy, I don't and, have any feelings. I could give a crap less what you say to me. Well, you're taking it personal when, I, when I'm explaining how incompetent you are. You're, you're making it sound like I'm calling you incompetent. No, I'm just explaining your, how incompetent your actions are. I'm explaining your actions, not you. 
Um, you have you have the ability to change. You have the ability to actually do better. But that's on you. I, I can't force you. I can only lead a, a horse to water. I can't force it to drink. I can tell a bigot the truth, but I can't force it to think. Right. You're right. You're right. So, so that's up to you. You're, you're personally responsible for your own actions. So, so hey, how about I, how about I uh, grab some paperwork and I'll come up to the house and you can write me a statement down. Uh, Why do I need to do that? For, for, for what's going on. You can write down the times that you're hearing noise, what the noise is, where it's coming from. <clears throat> Tell me all about the 33 months that we failed to do our job, and I'm going to pass it along to somebody more important than I am. Hmm. So why haven't you done this that, before that, before that, now? Does that sound just, good to you? Just out of curiosity. Does that sound good to you? Uh, no, because you're just going to waste my time. What you can do, if you want to be efficient, since you're getting paid, I'm not. Uh you can actually go to my YouTube channel. I've got all the recorded evidence there going all the way back to 2018. I've got your conversations. I some of your YouTube stuff, Brandon. Okay. I've watched some of your stuff. So, so what does that mean? I've watched some, some of your videos. And? Yeah, they're videos. You have, you, you, you have some things going on. <laughs> Some things going on. What the hell does I that mean? Know, I don't know. I don't know if I can help you out, man. That's what I'm telling you. Oh really? But, oh really? So so tell me in your in your expert opinion, what what is it do you think I need help with? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, man. Like you've tried everything with AEP, the Wiz. All that stuff. So I, I don't. I don't know what what I can do to help you out. Well, you haven't been paying attention. Maybe at some point, if you were to pay attention, you could figure it out. But you haven't paid attention. So you're still talking about Wiz and AEP, this, that, and the other thing. You don't even know what you're talking about. You guys haven't. You guys. Your videos. You guys. You guys haven't bothered investigating the whole entire situation. So you have. You have a very limited uh, aspect of what's actually going on, and so. I mean, just just the, the ignorant statements are overwhelming. Um, see, and I think I even explained it to you at one point, but I, man, I guess, I guess just these, these thick skulls that you can't really get through. Um, there's noise coming from the power lines that I've had identified by AP themselves. They had technicians come out and identify that there's low frequency noise coming from the power lines. So just, just so we can establish that. So, uh, it's not, you know, Wiz and AEP and all this. It's not like I'm going after all these people for no reason, like you're trying to make it sound. No, I never said that, Brandon. No, that's, that's what you're insinuating. No, that's what you're insinuating when you say, oh, you're going after Wiz and AEP and this, that, and the other thing. Like, I'm just attacking people for no reason. And what AEP say they're going to do about the lines for you? Uh, they refuse to fix the lines. That's why I had to file a lawsuit. And because of you people, you public servants, don't know how to do your jobs right, and the fraud that you all have committed, and I'm trying to remember, I, I think you may have been part of it. I don't know about all the instances, but maybe one or two of the instances. I can't recall uh, specifically. But but uh, in, in December of 2018 and August of 2019 and then July and August of 2020, the fraud that was committed against me, and the uh, the uh, violent attacks that uh, that you all perpetrated on me and uh, the detectives that work for the for the department you work for, uh, all because you guys refuse to do your job and address this noise problem, you guys keep trying to create false and fraudulent charges and try to charge me with them and uh, in an attempt to harass and intimidate or maybe just terrorize me or maybe this is what you do to other people and they eventually have a, you know have enough of it and, and uh, just relocate and get the hell away from you people. I, I don't know what the situation might be, but, uh, you know, the fact that you guys haven't done your job according to the law to address this nuisance noise problem that trespasses my property and the violent actions that you all have taken uh, against me, terrorized me on my property, harass and intimidate me, manipulated the courts with fraudulent and false charges and fraudulent uh, affidavits and all kinds of good stuff that's against the law. Um, instead of doing your job, see, that's 
that's considered treason. When you are actively uh, performing violent acts, attacking the people you're supposed to protect, violating the Constitution, violating those people's God-given rights, that's called treason. You, you do understand this, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it would behoove you to pay attention and not commit treason because um, it's a pretty serious offense. And uh, people who are found guilty of committing treason, uh, it's the, the consequences are pretty dire, or can be, uh, depending yeah, on... Well, you should know. I don't. I, that's, not, that's out of my league, man. Really? Yeah. I think uh, every yeah. American has a duty to understand what their obligations are. And uh, when we fail to... Uh, follow the law, we fail to uh, uphold the law. When we uh, perform violent acts instead of our duties and obligations that are outlined to us, but would rather attack a man because he's complaining about nuisance noise. Who attacked you? Well, you all that came to my property multiple times and cornered me and threatened me with violence, putting guns in my face and threatened to tase me. And if I didn't comply, uh, you know, I kind of lost track of all of you. And, and quite frankly, a number of you were in plain clothes when you showed up. So uh, I couldn't even tell if you guys were actually uh, or like who you guys were. Uh, yeah, that, that's... Well, I, I don't recall that. And... The only time I've been up to your house is when I talk to you through the window. Uh, yeah, well, it might do you some good to pay attention. Um, I mean, that's that's why I had to file my lawsuit, not just because of the noise. The uh, lawsuit is actually pertaining to the uh, the malfeasance, the criminal misconduct that uh, you public servants have uh, committed against me here at my property. The trespassing, the uh, violent acts, the threats, the... Uh, um, threats on my life, the putting my life in risk, my safety at risk. That's that. That's what I had to file my lawsuit in regards to. And uh, because this all originated from the problem with the electric company and the changes that they made, see, if they wouldn't have made their changes, who knows if the local area of business's noise would have gotten as loud as it has. Uh, who knows if I would have had the experience I did with, with you people. Um, but it's, it's pretty simple to see that AEP comes in and makes changes. They, uh, trespass my property. They affect my property, damaging my property, damaging my health and, and me. Uh, what did, AEP, what did AEP do, Brandon? I've already explained that to you. So, uh, so it all, it all began there. It all, coming through the power lines. It, it all began there, and because of the nature of the sound, because it sounds very mechanical, at the beginning I was very confused on where the noise was coming from. And because the noise was coming from these local area businesses, and, it, and, and this noise from the power line sounds very mechanical, I thought, well, it's probably just coming from these other businesses as well. That's why eventually, yeah. originally when I was calling you people to come out, to do your jobs and I was I was confused I didn't know where the noise was coming from all I know is I could hear all this loud ass noise that anybody could hear that I could record and play back but conveniently when you all would come out to my property we would have conversations you would say oh yeah I can hear the noise and then I'd find out that in the reports that you all would write we didn't hear anything there is no noise trying to make me sound like I'm crazy or something I guess I mean, who knows or, or maybe Maybe it's just the incompetence. I, I don't know. It's, I, I could speculate all I want. But it doesn't make any sense how uh, people can come up here and have a conversation with me and tell me that they hear the same noise that I'm hearing that I can record and play back. And then, according to their reports, there was no noise, supposedly. Um, it, it just, it, it's all this interesting like uh, contradictions. Like, for example telling me that you guys can't go into the county for any reason. But then going into the county for trespass, or excuse me, for uh, a littering, a littering problem, 
telling me that you can't go to the county for the noise problem, but then finding out that you actually were able to, you, you yourself actually did. So it's just, it's all this back and forth and, and contradicting, uh, yourselves and in one breath, tell me you can't go into the county. The next breath, tell me you did go into the county, but, and you heard the noise, but you didn't do anything. You didn't bother, uh, filing a report. You didn't bother, uh, nothing. I can drive. I can drive into the county all I want. Whether I can enforce any kind of laws is, is not. That's not the case. Well, right. Well, I never said enforce. Uh, throughout okay. this whole throughout this whole ordeal, I never expected you guys to go into the county to enforce anything. What I've expected okay. you to do is uh, your job and investigate. And like you had stated, you went to the stave company. You sat in the parking lot. You heard the noise, and that's where you left it. You didn't bother doing anything else. You didn't follow through. That's a failure. And I can hear all, I hear all kinds of noise all night long. Yeah, it shouldn't be there. We're, we're, in, we're, we're in a city, Brandon. There's noises. Really? There's cars driving the roadway. Really? Yeah, there's there's horns honking. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, there's really? not supposed to be sustained machinery running at full throttle or high idle or however you wanted to explain it. Static machinery, not moving, not traffic. But static machinery running at, at, at just full full tilt. Now that's a different. There's a difference between the machinery running in a, in a static location and traffic noise. In fact, in fact, hold on a second. In fact, there's another property owner over over here off of Sharon Avenue that I had spoken to the other day that explained to me. They said that they've been calling Streets and Sanitation to complain about the Stave Company because they've they've had issues with the noise. And uh, they told me they've been calling streets of sanitation. I told them they, they're supposed to call you guys because it's your guys' job to investigate the crime. Um, yeah. But another issue that they have, uh, and I hear it all the time too, and it is annoying, but there's all this other noise too. One of the, the biggest issues that they have, they said, is the, the Jake brake usage from the trucks coming in and out of that stave company. It's not just the production uh, noise from the facility. But the uh, the trucks using their Jake brake, and uh, that's that's not so that's not supposed to be used in the city. In fact, I think they even said that there's a sign put up over there where it says no Jake brake. But they constantly use the Jake brake coming in and out of that that facility. I hear it all the time. Well, so. I'd, I'd gladly uh, sit out there and take care of the Jake brake problem for you. Well, you all should be. I mean, that's what you all are getting paid to do or part of what you all are getting paid to do is, is, uh, protect the community from these types of nuisances. And, uh, well, this is, this is the first time that anybody, including yourself has ever said anything about having issues with Jake breaks. Okay. Fair enough. But with that being said, at any given point in time, had you all done your job and paid attention fully to the situation, be fully situationally aware if while sitting while sitting in the parking lot of the stave company, you probably would have heard the Jake breaks of the trucks coming yeah, in and out of the facility, depending on how long you sat there for. But if a truck would have come by, yeah, I would have heard it. But right, right. So, so does somebody have to say something about it for it to be a crime, or can you observe it and address the the crime yourself? Oh yeah, I can observe it. Right. So if you guys would have been observing the nuisance noise from the stave company's production. That in any, any given point in time, you would have uh, witnessed the usage of the Jake brake by these trucks, and you could have addressed that that problem or posted a unit over here to catch them in the act or prevent them from using it. Because if you know, of course, if they see a, a cruiser or an officer, they're not going to use it. Right. Out of fear of getting fined. So, I mean, that would be a simple solution, but no one no one has bothered to think about that. Um, it, it just, it, see, it's, it's this type of, I don't know if inadequacy or incompetence, I don't know what the right word to use is. It, it's this type of failure that, that has me. Um, we can't be everywhere at all times. So a lot of times, unless somebody lets us know what's going on, we won't know. Because we, we can't just sit over on Sharon Avenue for an eight-hour shift, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But you know how many times I call in and complain about this noise? If 
somebody called in and said, hey, trucks are traveling down Sharon Avenue right now using our Jake brake. Sure, we would go over there and look, look at it. And we have gone up and looked at your safe company, Noise Brandon, but I don't know that it's even loud enough that that we'll be able to hear it from where you're at. It doesn't make a difference. The fact that I can hear it. I'm the one that's being injured in this situation. I'm the one that can hear it. I'm the one that it's it's a nuisance to. It doesn't make a difference whether you can hear it or not. I mean, it would help. It would help if you all pay attention and can hear it. I mean, anybody that has two God-given ears and, and normal hearing would be able to hear this. So to use that as an excuse is is, is ridiculous. It's, it's irrelevant. Uh... You know, I, I, I mean, first of all, I, I get that you guys can't sit over here for an eight-hour shift, but when I call in to complain about the extreme excessive noise, you guys can come over and check it out and spend, I don't know, say 20 minutes, half hour, well, I don't know how long you guys can spend, scoping it out and checking it out, maybe find a place to, to post up, you know, for a, a few moments or whatever, because I see you guys parked in different parts of the city all the time. You guys are just sitting there, so there's no reason that... Uh, uh, you guys can't send a unit over to, to kind of scope out the, the area, maybe sit at the bottom of the hill and just pay attention. Just listen. If it's loud enough to reach my property, you guys will be able to hear it at the bottom of the hill right there at Sharon. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the fact that we're having this conversation, I mean, I hope that we're getting somewhere, but the simple fact that, you all haven't been able to figure this out and, and and just do this yourselves before now in this last roughly 33 months of, of dealing with this. That's, that's what I call incompetent because you all should be able to figure it out. You know, I get that you guys got other things, you know, you guys are taking care of as well. This isn't the only issue you guys have to take care of. I get that. But at some point in almost three years of complaining, I mean, between the dispatchers and officers and supervisors and uh, directors and so forth, you all should be able to figure it out. And I shouldn't have to, to break down and micromanage the police department to figure out who isn't doing their job. You know, the reason why this is happening is because there's no accountability. Because you guys think qualified immunity makes you immune to anything. And so I suspect that you guys use that as a license to violate the law or ignore the law or conveniently pick and choose which laws to, to follow or enforce. Uh, thinking that, that the immunity is going to cover you, that you guys won't be held liable. But that qual the, the qualified immunity, does it's not a license to break the law. It just covers you in, in situations where accidents happen. If you're traveling to a, a scene of an emergency and you get in an accident and you kill somebody, it, you know, it's an accident. That's where, it's where you're covered. But it, it doesn't cover public servants that willfully and blatantly violate the law and violate their oaths of their office and to the Constitution, if they have. Yep, you're right. So, and... and I think that's the biggest problem is the public servants here in Zanesville need to understand that qualified immunity is not a license to break the law. And it doesn't, it doesn't put any of you people above anybody else here. We are all equal. We all have actually technically, I mean, all of us men and women are equal, but once, once you people become a public servant, you're acting as a, uh, as an agent for a certain service corporation or company you actually give up your rights. You actually technically have less rights than I do because of the position that you're acting in. Yep, you're right again. So that's what makes this even more frustrating for me because here I'm being treated as if I have less rights when it's actually the opposite. You guys should be held to a higher standard. But you're not being held to a higher standard because there's no accountability here. So, And that's why we're having yeah. this conversation. 
What was that? Nothing. I just uh, you, you got you got some good points, Brandon. Yeah, well, I, this isn't personal. I, you know, I'm not having fun doing this. I'm not enjoying this. I would rather you guys just. I, I would rather you guys just do your job, and and I, I would prefer not to have to keep calling you guys. But. Yeah, I think that'd probably be the preferred for everybody. Well, yeah, but until you guys do your job, I I have an obligation to report the crimes. Yeah. Yep. You sure do. And you guys have an obligation to address the issue because of the fact that my property is located within the incorporated area of the city and the noise is encroaching the city and my property trespassing both. That actually authorizes you to perform certain actions according to Ohio Revised Code 3767 and whomever is designated. I still haven't found out who is actually designated within the city public servants to address this matter. I don't know if it's the uh, law director, I don't know if it's public safety director, the police chief. According to Ohio Revised Code 3767, uh, when I was reading there, it explained it, it's typically one of those three, unless there's a different right. uh, person that's that's uh, designated. So, but, but no one in the 33 months, almost three years of me complaining about this and having these conversations, no one has been able to explain to me or tell me who or whom is actually designated to address this problem. Well, we got a chain of command just like in the military, man. It starts at the top with the mayor and goes down to the safety director, the chief of police, the captain, lieutenant, sergeant, so on and so forth. Well, sure. I, I mean, I get that. And to be frank with you, I've spoken to all of them. I've got them all on record, uh, not only being aware of the problem, but acknowledging that there's a problem and, uh, promising to address the problem, but then not only not addressing the problem, but uh, finding myself in, in uh, new situations where I have fraud being committed against me uh, because public servants would rather commit fraud and create fraudulent charges and manipulate the courts and create false warrants. Uh, to, I, I guess, the only thing I can speculate is to harass and intimidate me and in an attempt to silence me, I guess. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, honestly, from my perspective. Because uh, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense. I have not broken any laws. I have not violated any. I didn't threaten anybody. I've just been upset because of this rigmarole and runaround. And my frustration has been weaponized against me. And uh, see, like back in 2018, real, real quick, when... Uh, when public servants came to my my property and threatened my life, threatened my safety, all because I was calling and complaining about noise, uh, you know that's that's definitely concerning. When I'm complaining about noise because I want to enjoy my property that I've worked so hard to be able to purchase, and we all should be able to enjoy our property within reason. Uh, and instead of getting any relief from the ridiculous noise that should be addressed, I get uniformed thugs coming to my property, putting guns in my face, threatening to shoot and tase me and everything else, and then arresting me, trying to charge me with uh, codes and statute violations that don't even apply to me because I'm a man. They only apply to... They only apply to businesses, corporations, and people who are acting on behalf of businesses and corporations like bus drivers, taxi drivers, that sort of thing, delivery drivers. See, See again, my radio overpowered you. No, I was just explaining the fraud. See, I'm trying to understand why I'm trying to understand why it is that instead of you all addressing the New, the noise nuisance issue, the problem of this trespassing that's that's occurring on my property and has for, for a long time now, instead of addressing that, the department, uh, public servants there in the department would rather commit fraud, uh, harass and intimidate me, come to my property and threaten my life and threaten my safety, uh, lock me up in a cell for 50 hours, not even give me an opportunity to make a phone call to get a hold of any family to take care of my animals or nothing. 
Like just, just completely abusive. Uh, and the only reason I can think of is because I've called and complained about noise. Because uh, the excuses that were given as to why I was uh, was treated the way I was were false. They, they were non-existent. Hey, what, what, what were they? Well, in, let's see, in 2018, it was uh, inducing panic, which I, I never did. I mean, uh, in fact, it was the public servants that came to my property that day that I have recorded uh, that induced panic on me at my property. And so it appears that there's this, uh, for lack of better terms, gaslighting that's been going on where public servants perform actions and instead of calling their actions the way that they are, they gaslight those actions and they project those actions onto me in that situation. So for example, like I stated, they, I, I was, uh, I was ridiculously charged with uh, inducing, or, or excuse me, uh, yeah, inducing panic, I think is what the charge was. That, that code actually could not be applied to me. Uh, what, was, what was done then, even back then, was fraud because codes and statutes don't apply to men and women. They only apply to corporations and uh, um, agents that are acting on behalf of corporations or businesses. So... When uh, when you all charged me or tried to charge me back in 2018, that was fraud. When uh, the whole thing that happened in, in 2019, manipulating the uh, Lieutenant Schilling and a couple other uh, public servants manipulated the uh, the VA uh, medical staff and manipulated them to create a pink slip because they were feeding them false information about me, sensationalized reports about my state of mind and, and other things and uh, completely exaggerating uh, the, the, the situation. And, uh, you know, that was actually human trafficking. I was, I was abducted from my property and human trafficked by you guys because it was all based on fraud. It, you guys had no, no actual probable cause or jurisdiction to, to act. You guys just came to my property and threatened me with guns, putting guns in my face and told me if I didn't comply, you'd shoot me or, or tase me or whatever. So anybody in their right mind would, would probably try to go along as best they could because, uh, you know, it's, um, self-preservation. Yeah. Um, now I, I mean, at any given point in time, I, I was, I mean, in my opinion, I was well within my right. I could have retaliated in, in the moment. But then the public servants in that, at that time would have used that as an excuse to, to take further actions. And I think, I think that's what was expected. I think it was expected to, uh, to turn into an escalated situation uh, to try to let the problem fix itself, I guess, for lack of better terms. I, th I think, in my opinion, that's that's what I think was happening was is I was being poked and prodded into a situation where I was trying to be uh, uh, poked and prodded into reaction. But you all didn't get the reaction you were looking for. It, it actually kind of backfired. Because I don't think you all realized that I, I uh, knew how to access the courts and how to file a lawsuit and... So at this point, I think you all have a lot of egg on your face, and I, I think a lot of you are, refu are reluctant to eat crow and just do the right thing. I don't know if it's a pride issue or, or what it is, um, but at, at this point, I'm, you know, all that's out the window. Um, you know, the, the, the personal side of all this. I mean, even though I, I kind of take it personal sometimes by the uh, the actions. Uh, you know, the, the, the moral of the story, if you will, is that you guys just need to do your jobs according to, uh, the, the laws, the codes and statutes that bind you and nothing further. And that's it. And, and I, I'm, I'm passionate about that and I want to see 
public servants do the right thing. I don't want to see you all contributing to the downfall of our society and our country. I mean, for crying out loud, it's already gotten worse enough, hasn't it? Or bad enough? Uh, yeah, uh, I agree with you on that. Yeah. So listen, I'm going to let you go. Um, I appreciate the conversation, but at some point I would hope that, that you all would be able to figure out what you need to do. Uh, and you know, if if you all need to sit down and have a powwow and have a coming to Jesus moment, or you all need to meet with a law director to get a proper explanation or go to somebody, go to an unbiased source and get a, a, an unbiased, uh, opinion or, or explanation of the law, whatever you need to do, I, I suggest you all do it because I'm frankly, I'm, I'm tired of talking to you all. <laughs> Don't blame you. Yeah. And I'm sure you're tired of hearing, hearing from me too, but again, you wouldn't be hearing from me if you guys would just address the, the problem and, and, uh, and fix it according to the law. So whatever I can do to help you all do that, I'm willing to help you all. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just, it's getting, this is getting beyond ridiculous and, and, uh, beyond excessive. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll leave you with this and I'll, I'll let you go. Um, yeah, just, just, I'll reiterate, look up Ohio revised code three, seven, six, seven. It'll explain to you. Uh, how to address the situation in the courts, who ex- who it, it identifies is supposed to handle the situation, and maybe you can pass that information in, in a report up the chain of command to whomever uh, is responsible, whether it be the police chief, the public safety director, or the law director, or someone else. Uh, but, uh, but, but you should be able to uh, read and understand that code and... Uh, figure out how to apply the information there to the situation accordingly and uh, get that information to the proper, through the proper channels. So, I mean, maybe that's the problem. Maybe, maybe the, uh, maybe your supervisors haven't gotten the right information. I don't know. I I highly doubt that's the case because all the information that I've been given or giving you guys, uh, I've been trying to be as thorough as I can. So, I, I don't feel like the problem's coming from me. I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible about not only the, the noise, but the sources, and then also the uh, the codes that uh, allow you guys to address the issue. So, um, yeah, if, if there's ever any questions, if you have any questions, any concerns, any clarifications, any confusions on anything, feel free to reach out. Uh, but, yeah, at some point in time, I would appreciate it if, if we could get on top of the situation here and I wouldn't have to keep calling in every night because of this ridiculous noise at some point um, somebody within the city public servants should be able to monitor this and, and keep an eye on it, whether it be code enforcement or law enforcement. I don't know. And personally, I don't, or frankly, I don't care. Um, but somebody should be paying attention to this. This has been going on for far too long. Right. So, but I appreciate your time. Uh, definitely keep your head up and, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, man. I just, uh, I just want some peace and quiet. I get it. I get it. So, but God right, bless well, you. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'll talk to you soon, Brandon. Yeah. Well, hopefully not, but you know, that's, that's up to you all. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I hope you, uh, get some rest now. Yeah, I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I think at this point I'm not going to get any rest until I get the hell out of the city. I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't see that happening anytime soon because I can't afford it. But anyways, that's a whole other discussion. Uh, but uh, no, I, I appreciate the sentiment. And uh, again, if you guys, if you need any help or any support, just let me know. Yep, take care. All right, you too. Bye. All right, bye.